Care agency says its supply of personal protective equipment was stolen over the weekend. Masks, gloves, face shields, gone. Sarah Madison spoke with the president of the company. Shelly Wilson of Wilson Care Group tells us the precious supplies that were stolen were going to be used by her staff, donated to the hospitals and first responders, and shared with other health care facilities experiencing a shortage. Saturday morning, I came into the office to do a little bit of work, and I uh, checked on the area where we were storing uh, our personal protective equipment, and the door was... Uh, was not locked. It was open. Wilson says it happened at the administration office on Kapiolani Boulevard. Sources tell us about $265,000 worth of equipment, including N95 masks, were stolen. Items that are in high demand and in short supply. It was sad that someone would steal something that is essentially going to protect another person's life. And the individuals that are risking their lives every day for us all in working in hospitals and facilities and working with active COVID patients, which are my staff at home, um, and certainly the police and the firemen and the paramedics. Wilson is asking the public to reach out to police with any information or if they see some of these stolen items on the market. I mean, we had a, a very secure area uh, where we were storing all of our equipment, but I think, uh, you know, this is a lesson learned for us. So we have never had any issue. You know, nobody's ever been um, interested in, in breaking into a, a home care office. Wilson says because items like gloves and masks are coveted right now, they will be storing their personal protective equipment off-site from now on. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. All right, Sarah, thank you very much.